What up, family? Lil Wayne. Birdman. Man, I've been going back, you know, over old videos, footage, and different things of cash money when, you know, Wayne was a young man, a kid. And the determination that I was seeing in Wayne to make it happen was in him then. Like he, you know, you got some people that just born stars. He one of the ones that just naturally talented born star, right? Now, you also have individuals that's born in the game, you know, meaning when it comes to the streets. You know, they natural ability is street dudes can get it out the road like Birdman a crime or whatever, because that's all that they know. Now, this cash money reunion, everybody was waiting on. Like I say, everybody is home now. And I want to mind you that BG, in a record, since BG been at the house, said that Wayne was acting like a B in his showing to the world. It's before the feds shut BG down and they come in. Now they the government have got the right for BG got to go through them before he released any type of music. You know, they got to stream it or whatever the case might be dealing with hip hop. Now, fast forward, the Essence Festival in New Orleans, this was a thing to Birdman. Like he, you know, one of his people wanted it you know, to happen. He loved the city of New Orleans. He made that, you know, very clear. And everybody thought that it was going to be the group and everybody together. Now, we know the issue with Turk, but we thought it was going to be Lil Wayne for sure. We didn't know that this was going to come about. Now, Lil Wayne pulled up late, fam. If you look at all the different pictures and stuff, it's just BG, Juvenile, Manny Fresh, Birdman. Wayne pull up, did his own sets. When he first got out there, he said, I'm here on behalf of cash money. Really pr pretty much saying, I really don't even want to be here. You feel me? Now, for Wayne to come late, it's all in the surface. You know, it's a lot going on with cash money. Everybody talking about this situation. You know, when it comes to Wayne, pretty much disrespecting Birdman just in a different form and fashion, letting him know that I don't rock with what we came up with that umbrella no more. I'm really solo dolo. And the things that have happened in the past, I feel like Wayne have forgave him, but that don't mean you got to go deal with individuals. You see what I'm saying? Like you can forgive a person to make your heart clear, you know, whether it ain't on your mind every day, all day, but that don't mean you literally got to go you know, uh, kick it with them people. I think this was a pressure situation from Birdman, BG, all of them to get Wayne out of his comfort zone because I knew off top that Wayne didn't want to do this. It's been too much how it went on with that, with that umbrella. And for BG to say what he was saying, how Wayne was acting, he, you tripping. BG done done 12 years. He just happy to go get it. Really just happy to be free. Wayne is a real legend, a real star that carried cash money. I, it, it's cash money because of cash money. You know, they built the labor burden, but man, it wouldn't be no cash money if it wasn't for Wayne. And I don't think Wayne want to be treated like a hot boy or, 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 or up under that cash money umbrella because he's so much of a boss. What he had put down and brought to the game. Now, back to when I first started this video, I'm saying Wayne was a natural kid. He was born a born star. Birdman is a born hood dude, born in the game. Especially as you get older with it. They both had these characteristics being young. Now being older, that anybody around Wayne, I have always heard that Wayne be in Wayne's world. Wayne really don't care about the gangsterism. Wayne don't care about it. I think he tired of, of the mob cash money talk of all the fakeness you know people really just doing it for uh the the social media 
But behind closed doors, these relationships don't be solid. And I think Wayne, one of them ones, like, hey, I'm so big, I ain't even got to rub shoulders like that. You know, I can just hold it down on my end. And then Turk won there. A lot of people saying Wayne was upset that, you know, if it was going to be a hot boy reunion, what's a hot boy reunion without Turk being in the building? Well, Turk won there. We already know that what Turk had said about Birdman, Cash Money, when they was first coming up in the game, the fake Rolexes and all these different things, Birdman have came back and said that Turk can't come back. He ain't forgiven everybody. And he said Turk can't come back from what he did. And mind you that he also spoke on, he didn't joke Turk uh, like he did BG when BG was doing time. Say him and Turk didn't have a relationship even before Turk got locked up. Now that's something that they was keeping up under the rails because we really didn't know that Birdman and Turk didn't have a relationship in the process of Turk getting locked up. And if you look at it, Turk got locked up, I think, in Memphis with the police shooting. Like, Turk was really in the streets. He high, you know what I'm saying? On dope, taking it for granted what Birdman was doing for him, I must say also. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of people saying Turk need to be on that bill, and he do if it's a high boy reunion, but it didn't happen like that at all. Now, one thing about Lil Wayne, you know, even if he did it on Turk's behalf, or whatever the case might be, he not going to go to the public or to the ground or, or say anything about why he did what or who did. You feel me? And Wayne was so uncomfortable. You can tell, fam, pulling up and even do, even though New Orleans is home, and look at the crowd. Not every venue going to sell out. But, man, the crowd, it didn't, it didn't even sell out like that. Even Busta Rhymes came in and had to say a few things about people just being on their phone while individuals talking and performing. Say he'd been in the game 30 years. He wasn't finna accept, you know, the disrespect. The energy, it wasn't meant to happen like that. It, it, it Because you're trying to, you know, I understand Birdman saying he want to go out the game the same way that he came in. I'm learning this the hard way, even with people that I came up with. Like, everybody just going to have to go their ways at a certain point if it's just like that. It ain't no putting it back together for nobody because you already know what the deal. The outside can be we, like we looking as fans. But it's real live personal situations that have went on between these individuals that got the relationship like it is. Wayne, Birdman had to give Wayne $50 million, family. So that means that it was a lot of money being lost, getting, getting, getting took from Lil Wayne over the years to Wayne got on his business. And he might feel the way because he know I carried this cash money umbrella train. I'm the one carried. You feel me? And at the end of the day, BG saying, and him and Birdman got a relationship like they do, like BG and like he and Wayne position as, as the son's son. And Wayne, like he really the out outcast. I mean, he getting it, but it's like he the out, and he want to be the outcast. But at the end of the day, I will keep y'all updated, though, fam, on this situation. But make sure you hit the like button, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm out.